Hey guys, Nick here with Picture This, and today we're back with episode 2 of our Canon EOS Rebel T2i series. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of an update of what's going on with the camera, whether it works or not, and that type of thing. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this little update if you will because I have a couple projects going on uh, video wise and I'm just trying to get something out to keep you guys up to date here. As of last week the uh, Canon Rebel T2i batteries that I ordered off of Amazon came in. These are the LP08 batteries I believe. Um, I ordered this one off of Amazon it's called like RAV Power or something. If it wants to focus. Hello? Really? You're gonna do this to me? Okay. Yeah, anyway, it's not focusing. Um, of course it's not. We have that, the batteries uh, came, I charged them up. I was like, it's probably not gonna work. The guy I got it from for free uh, listed it as broken. And then sure enough, <clears throat> you flip the switch and it's on, it's working 100%. I was actually really surprised. I was like, what, no way, that's crazy. And yeah, I tested it, I did the, pulled the shutter button, I looked at the viewfinder, all the focusing points were lighting up and working. And this camera shoots 1080p up to 30 frames per second, which is pretty cool. I definitely wanna do a comparison with the Nikon D3000 and then this camera because they're only a year apart and one shoots video and then the Canon has 18 megapixels compared to the Nikon's uh, 10. So I wanna see if I could pull a better image quality out of the Canon. And in terms of lenses, I just picked up a Canon 50 mil. Um, it's on its way from eBay. And hopefully next week I'll have that and I'll be able to do a full kind of in-depth review and maybe even a comparison to that camera and then a couple other ones I have. Another video probably in the works is going to be a review of this camera right here. This is the Samsung NX300M. This camera was released in 2013. It is discontinued. 20 megapixel APS-C sensor. So it's pretty solid. That's why I use it for uh, recording the videos here. And I want to see how it stacks up against the Canon Rebel T2i from uh, 10 years ago. That's going to be pretty cool. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to this uh, little update, if you will. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment below, and I'll catch you guys next week with the full review of the Canon EOS Rebel T2i.